fagger in the house. <laughs> Thank you very much, the Waitrix for the resub. Thank you very much, and hello everybody. Five hundred TV advantage. Whoop whoop. Got again. Um, <laughs> hello Mo. Right. So obviously five hundred TV up against the shit team is good. Um, he does have a fucking claw mighty blow though. And two other claw mighty blows. Oh fuck me! This is the worst five hundred TV advantage match you can possibly get. Three claw mighty blows. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh glorious! Thank you, Mo. Thank you, Mo, for the the sub there. Glorious. <laughs> It's not a free win, no, 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 it's not a free win. It's it's certainly not a free win because he's got three claw mighty blows. So it's the worst possible 500 TV advantage match, I think, because even if it's a win, people are going to die, aren't they? The team is doomed, yeah, I think it is. Muddy D. Yeah, this music is glorious. That's <laughs> very good. 515 with 3 claw mighty blow. Yeah, so he must be shit. And like, he must be shit at blood ball. Oh god, now he's got a strength 6 mighty blow. He must be shit at blood ball to be 515 with 3 claw mighty blow. Surely. Um, but he can just tee off, can't he? Just got to win the... Got to finally win the toss in a, in a bash. In a bash mirror. Have to win the toss. Finally. He didn't get a wizard, so I think is that is good news, yeah. Because he could have just fucking wizarded, and then a goblin could have ran in, got the ball, scored or whatever. So yeah, nice. He hasn't got a wizard. Oh. Brutal. Five hundred. <laughs> Never been so scared about being five hundred TV up in my life before. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Finally win the toss. Please. Yes. He's got a lot of players. But winning the coin toss is good, because he might just concede, mightn't he? There is a chance that he might just concede. Maybe freak. I don't know who else he could have to be honest. As stars, I don't. I don't know exactly who. Underworld get. Um, Mob might do. He might just get caught on though, might he? If he's putting him on the line like that. I think he got um, an apple or an, uh, two babes he got. Oh man, you gave them up. <laughs> you fucking gave them up. Oh baby. Yes, I would like to eat them both. Thanks buddy. So guard goes in, two dice on him, two dice on him, three dice on him. Oh, with tackle. Nah, three dice I guess don't need tackle and the, the tackle guy can blitz or defend. Um, I'm going to mute my opponent here. Some may call it antisocial, but it's hard enough streaming and like playing and talking to the people in chat without trying to 
talk to people in chat and talk to some random dude as well. Now I'm going to keep him back to protect the ball a little bit. Could even serve him. Does he have frenzy? No. No, but then it op opens me up to a blitz, doesn't it? Maybe not. Can't believe he gave up his two strong boys. Wow. Oh, fuck off, man. <sighs> I finally win the toss and get blitzed on. Fuck's sake. Oh, good. He ate, he ate my shit dice. <laughs> Greed reroll. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, not, not, not starting skills, yeah. That's fair enough. Oh man, now that claw now the claw mighty blow can get served. Fuck about. That's too good to be true. And he used his re-roll up. <laughs> oh god. Alright. So, safe moves first. Three dice this guy to get the assist on Mog. Is this Dauntless or Shadowing or what? Alright. Two dice on this fuck. Get him. Oh, that glorious animation. Well, duh. Hmm. Fuck. Disappointing. He can go there so he can block him. You have to go for this one. Of course, there's no surf. for the pickup eh? Maybe I should have blocked the uh, claw mighty first. No, I guess I definitely should have done. I didn't want to really use a reroll, but I should have hit the claw mighty blow first, shouldn't I, I guess? Hmm. Hello Yuri Styles, yeah, Crimson Fox, uh Crimson Fox took us over. And Andy Dave or will take us over today. He sneakily played. So. Standard. Yeah, 
I should have blocked the claw main blow. It was too stupid not blocking him. Just because I wanted to get the ball. Like, the ball matters at all. Yeah, everyone's really close. Basically, everyone's a... Uh, uh, everyone's a fucking game away from each other, basically. Maybe I was right to go for the ball, eh? Seeing as he seems fixated on it for some reason. <laughs> I mean, I, I had I couldn't risk the one in the one in eighty one on the block because then it would have, that like to be fair. I think I was right to go for the pickup because if I'd one in eighty one this block, then he just blocks him and then the claws in, and he's just got massive pressure on the ball, hasn't he? <laughs> and he's killed my one tackle. He's killed my one tackle, hasn't he? That was the weakness of having the tackler on the eyes. Look at this, just rolling all the dice in the world. <sighs> Man. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking prick. So there's no three dice then, is that I was going to assist with him? But now there's no way to get the three dice in. Tackles on, do I? Good. Can put the guard in there. Obviously, I'd like to deal with Morg. take any risks. Guard in there would be really good, but so would be dealing with more. I guess guard in there is more important. Oh, is it though? Fucking hell. He can just get, he's got an easy surf there. I don't particularly want a one dice more. I'd love to two dice him. But it just leaves him, it's just too important, isn't it? Too important to win the game. Sadly.
<laughs> All right, go for the one dice, no reroll. Got him. Good. Bye, Morg. Maybe next time don't put him on the LOS. Just quietly. I wasn't greedy. I, I put the guard away, didn't I? <laughs> Poor Mog. Yeah, sorry, I've got to ignore chat a bit. It's on the sheet to ignore it. Didn't even need claw or mighty blow or anything. It was just double six, six and five. <laughs> on a one dice. Just straight up 12-11, yeah. Still got a chance though, hasn't he? You can still fucking knock over the ball carrier here. The old one dice. Alright, he's not pressuring the ball, that's good. I just stood that guy up to get served. Madman. Yeah, he gave up the ball. Lucky because like that was where his advantage was, wasn't it? <laughs> he's obviously he's lost Morg, so he's got he's he had no fighting anyway, really, apart from Claw Mighty Blow hits, didn't he? To give up on the ball there was uh, questionable, to say the least. He's fucked here because if he follows, he gets surfed from a block, and if he doesn't, he gets surfed from a blitz. Okay, so safe moves first. I want to get safe from him. Which means here. <laughs> oh, glorious. Am I out of range of him? Yeah. Count up the squares and everything, still wasn't sure. What the fuck is this? Oh, animosity. <laughs> Pretty glorious. Can greed this one now, I think. Don't even need to. Yeah. 
Yes or hell yes on the piling on. I just got a block goblin. Holy shit. He's a rookie, but what am I going to use these rerolls for this half? I don't think anything else. This way he just stops him uh, blitzing anybody good, doesn't he? Cyberbullying! <laughs> Chaos War is easy to play. Not really, to be honest. Um, because you've got to know how to use the bulls, I think. Um, but, I mean, they're, they're generally, I mean, how easy is anything to play, you know? They can be point and click at times. I can try and target some star player points now, eh? Except the tackle is off. <laughs> He's six away from tackle. He's 20 away from tackle. Mighty blow and stuff. I think getting a tackle is most important. So. He can run up. He can run back. That's what I'm going to need the rerolls for, obviously. Mm-hmm. Could go for the hand off this turn. It's actually not that bad, is it? It's relatively safe. He's the one that wants tackle. Oh shit. Alright, he needs to get the ball somehow. That's how you do it, Judah Fago. Alright, so I guess Judah Fago has to try and get it. Well, if it's it's a, just a severe three horse race, we're all we're all really close together. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> Crimson Crimson Fox is first. Andy Davo played two games off off stream last night, and uh, that has uh, that has put the cat among the pigeons. And Crimson Fox has played a game, and that has put the cat amongst the pigeons. So. Yeah, that's it really. The other the other people played games and won them. <laughs> they could have just drawn or lost, but didn't have the good grace to do that. Very selfish of them.
tea dice. <laughs> I'm not going to go for four 0 I mean, you saw him roll all them dice there. He could have, he could have, um, he could have done things, couldn't he? Uh, anybody can do things. Anybody can roll dice, kill players, all sorts. Re roll this turn. Fuck it. Good. Five moves on something due to five cost good. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that is Blood Bowl. You roll dice and someone dies. No, but they've got Stuntney, haven't they? I mean, he, he did some things there and then he just gave up on the ball. If he'd carried on going for the ball, he could have got two dice on the ball. And he could have got the ball loose again, and he could have got picked it up with a goblin even. He, obviously, they weren't high percentage plays, but he could have done it. But luckily for me, he stopped going for the ball. Otherwise, it could be going worse. Like, not in terms of banging on him. Obviously, the banging on him is... Uh, worked out wonderfully. But... He could have he could have got the touchdown somehow. Can roll dice, can he? Anyone can roll dice. <laughs> it's a true story. Might have to bolt down a no balls this one. Oh. Go there in case he throws that goblin. Could be going with a slight understatement. No. <laughs> no, but you know you know what I mean though, um it could be going, even if I'd made all these kills, I could be making all these kills and losing 1-0, couldn't I, at the moment, if he'd, if he'd just carried on going for the ball. It's quite a good spot to stand that beastman in there, wasn't it, in case, make the landing harder, potentially. I really want to. I really want to hit the troll. <laughs> Can I get seven assists? Do I just go for it anyway? Because why not? It's only one in thirty-six. I get punished. I've got a claw on him. Phew. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done it, but especially with him having regen. Yeah, that's why I piled on the KO mana raise. <laughs> Strength 5 frenzy could have gotten 3, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was obviously like the KO was unlikely to be anything. 
But could have killed him, couldn't I? He's got claw mighty blow, I wanted to get rid of him. The chance of a Kaz was there. Perfectly three shits to go on the LOS. Fantastic. Never sure exactly where to put these on the uh, on the line. Better ones can get protected a bit, can't they? From dirty blitzers. Yes, Pedro, especially for you. Um, why did I take um, piling on on the guard warrior? Because it's the best skill in the game. Because, well, because claw palm is the best combo that they can get. So you've got to do it. You've got to pile on every chance you get because it's fucking overpowered. And the fact that he can be a warrior, like a good warrior as well. He can do the normal stuff, but... You know, you can. He's, it's just too good, isn't it? It's literally too good. It's too much value from one skill. I do remember that, just Joe. Yeah. It's just too good. It doesn't even matter that it's like anti-synergistical. It has anti-synergy with guard. It doesn't even matter because it's just too fucking good. As the whole combo. But yeah, all the mighty blow hits now is going to wreck us. Maybe. Maybe. He's still got a full 11 as well, hasn't he? And he's still got a full 11. So it could be men down for the second half, especially after he has the LOS blocks. I guess he's not going to make the claw mighty blow hit here, though. With the troll. Because he'll go for the uh, one turn, won't he? Without a reroll. It's <laughs> full 11 to work on the same two of your players. Now he did go for the extra core block. Well, I think that was a mistake. I think he should have gone for the one turn, but. Um, happy that he hasn't scored. But then it's just not worth taking though, Clive. You know, all all these fixes for piling on are uh, are all crap. I think just removing is the best. And that's what they did. So... Razor sharp claws were ridiculous. They were plus two to the armor, um, which is obviously pretty good. I just have to leave the ball carrier off here, don't I? As, as amazing as he is. 
I need some chumps to take hits. And that's these three. And it has to be guard warriors as well. I guess at least the both the claw palms are moving five now. At least that's something. Yeah, the Blood Bowl 2016 tabletop just fully removed it. People just always bitch about it, don't they? They bitched about Dirty Player when that killed a lot of people, then they bitched about Claw Mighty Bowl piling on when that killed a lot of people. They're always going to cry about what kills the most people, not what wins the most games of Blood Bowl. So. That's not good for the with the rule of five setup, is it? No man, because I haven't I haven't taken the skill yet. I haven't looked at the team since since <laughs> I mean could go guard I guess. There you go. It ends tomorrow at midday French time, Coach Cookie. I guess I just hope, hope to base, 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 and hope it works out all right. He, he should have, no, arguable, arguable, Pedro Jack, because on the one hand, if he does, he, you know, there's a fair chance of him getting the both down. If he gets a push, he's got to run back to safety. Um, oftentimes, I will just block with the, uh, you know, the safer blocks on the LOS. I'm just going to go for the troll like a complete fucking noob. Hit the strong man. Could go for it. I could have got a surf, couldn't I? Pretty easily, but come on, man! Can't go for the surf when you've got a seventy-five percent knockdown. We'll go there, so he's not in any tackle zones. Great stuff. Let him switch, maybe, but. Also threatens the surf very strongly, doesn't it?
<laughs> yeah, that's what I would say. I would say there's pros and cons, isn't there? Like, obviously, your first reaction is should totally have blitzed the warrior, but I can, you know, you can see why. I can see why people don't always do it. I think he definitely shouldn't have put Morg and the troll on the LOS because it was just too easy to wreck them. Oh shit. Right, push not good enough, is it? It's still just a one dice on the claw. From the claw, even. Yeah, of course. See, that? I've just given him my claw warriors, my guard, my chaos warriors to claw mighty blow. Just made it easy for him. I guess what I should I shouldn't have followed up on the blitz, and then I should have got another guard in. Then you just blitzed him and pushed him away anyway. Finally, not a death. I think he should have kept him where he was. I thought he was doing, doing a pretty good job there, actually, of uh, the defensive assist on the... Troll. Got shadowing. I gotta blitz the claw, so. Oh man, it's actually pretty annoying.
gets to hit my killer now, doesn't he? Maybe I should have served him. It's not that he likes his 1Ds, he hasn't got that much choice, has he? That's the thing. The latest with the NAF League, it's up and running, it's just... Um, obviously I'm having to play down to the wire in the uh, champs ladder. Um, so I can't really play in it and promote it that much. Ball base, yeah, sorry, I didn't base the ball. Wow, he didn't blitz the killer! What the fuck? What a madman. This is annoying because he's actually he's actually stalling well, isn't he? He's just going balls out now, then I guess he's going for the score this turn. What passed to him? Okay. <laughs> he passed it to an empty square. Alright, well, it was scary until he decided to do whatever that was. <sighs> Can free up the frenzy here, can't I? He could two dice him, he could come in here, then he could blitz and then go for the recovery himself. So that seems like what I should do. Dodge there. Pass into an empty square with a fight on a Mossadi. Oh man. He could just double GFI to get the ball. That might be what I have to do. So you can block him first. So he blitzes, and if it's a power, go for the ball. If it's a push, follow, and then he goes for the ball. And he's not doing bad stud where he is. Maybe I should have got him to cover the middle. Because I could have just moved him to cover it. 
but then I didn't want to have to dodge to go and get it, so... Hmm. Maybe I should have just got him in the in the in that neck of the woods, because there is a wide open path there, isn't there? Oh, yeah, I guess I should have just played it safe. I'm 1 0 up, aren't I? I should have played it safe. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Let's roll all the dice. <laughs> Claw upon warrior gets it. Wrestle guy makes a certain blitz down. He comes in for the assist. Yeah, I want to block him to see if I free him up. Maybe the, he can't reach, can he, for the uh, pickup? Oh, he might have to GFI it on the hit. But he doesn't have to GFI to pick up the ball. Next the ball. Maybe I should have just marked it, but then I'd have GFI. So. Four plus three plus to score. Like what the fuck? And then three turns to score with one reroll. It's hard to win all the time with chaos, isn't it? Alright, see you, Grindel. Not a bad, but pretty bad. Like, 5 out of 8, I guess. But it wasn't 5 out of 8, because it was a 1 in 3 to not fucking make the pickup. But I knew I'd fail the pickup. Couldn't have just picked up the fucking law on three attempts. But I should have had the wrestle back there last turn. And then I could have just served him and then... I guess seeing as I was never going to ever pick up the ball, maybe I should have just gone for the serve. And then... Uh, fail to pick up the ball in a tackle zone. <laughs> Lucky for me, he wasted a reroll before he went for it. The fuck is that about? Right, have to play as safe as possible. There's nothing to do that's safe. <laughs> I guess no pile on here. No knockdown here. Either. <laughs> Blitz with a wrestle, then recover with a wrestle.
understood. Probably, yeah, you want to go down as low as TV as possible, so yeah, probably. Um, I just have to knock him over, don't I? But then I want the fucking strength four to pick it up. He can stand up safely now, I guess. I guess I can pick up with the... Uh, if it's a wrestler, it's just fucking horrible. But so it is as if it's a ball down. But fucking. to pick it up. Four failures. And I've got the ball on a fucking wrestler, so the uphill isn't even that bad. Maybe I should just blitzed him with a wrestler. No, because I could have powered him and then wrestled the other guy and then picked up the last guy. So. Yeah, Underworld are allowed, yeah. Yeah, some of the ball, yeah. So at least it would have been in two tackle zones if I'd failed the pick up, that's what I was thinking. Thought there was a chance of making it with a re-roll. Fuck, that was fucking horrible, wasn't it? Four failed pickups in a row. Yeah, I had to re-roll the pickup, didn't I? Because otherwise, it... I guess actually the tackle should have just been there because of the big hand guy, or here or something. But then he could have one dice the ball. So no, I had to make it so he couldn't one dice the ball, didn't I? get people where the ball is. Being a stressful half, I tell you. Yeah, base up the ball carrier. Yes, I would go down to two rerolls with Orcs, yeah. Because they're um because you want to be as low TV as possible, don't you? Yeah, at least the wrestle strength for, yeah.
Double surf, yeah, could have done. What's the paper say about that? Yeah, true. Good. That should be safe now, shouldn't it? Because it's hard for the goblin to uphill block. He might just go for a troll or storm vermin blitz to finish off with and haven't taken any perms yet. Yeah, guard block's pretty good for Lionel. Skull, skull for you. Alpha go. Yeah, 51. He does, doesn't he? Well spotted. Well spotted. any way to free him up though is there so he's just gonna have to make a block himself oh, I didn't need a blitz there I could have blitzed the troll Yeah, I don't. I don't want to go for like the four plus ones. That's too low chance. But then I guess the chance of casting is really small as well, isn't it? And I guess the chance of the cas is actually lower than like a four plus catch, a four plus pass, and a three plus catch. It's got to be. It's got to be easier to go for this, hasn't it? Oh, but it could, it could scatter into him, so I can't do it. I literally couldn't try to hand it off to him because he would. It would be a failure, and the guy in the end zone would catch it. And boy, would I feel stupid then. Get the victory stomp on. Sadly, no sound of death. Why, that was fucking scary. That was a fucking scary, uh, a scary match to say it was 500 TV up and, and Morg got taken care of instantly. If he got the wizard, um really of course really why not why not i'm not canal <laughs> I'll, I'll make a foul he's got claw mighty blow i guess actually he might have he might be in the playoffs with that team no he's probably not is he i guess i shouldn't have fouled him because he could have used i might get matched against him again though oh wow mvp for elfa go nice Yeah, I guess I should have gone for the run. The thing is, though, I'm so far away, like 20 star player points. He ain't going to fucking get there. So. Yeah, I expected Team Destroyed with three claw mighty ball, yeah. So to not even take anything from that was outstanding, to be honest. The question here is Chloro piling on, because both are good, aren't they? Um. Obviously another tackle pong. The fact that he's got tackle means that piling on is going to be a... Uh, Ulf Hunter Fago, yeah. The piling on on him would be making better at killing owls, but then he doesn't really want to pile on because he's the only tackler. So, And Claw would still be good against Dark Elves and stuff. 
and obviously Claw would be good against all the teams that aren't um, things. So I think not piling on because he's the only because he's the only piling on. He's the only tackle. Although well, I guess Judah Fagor will be getting tackle as well. Hmm. Um, that puts me on <laughs> 77.91. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Which is above Fan Fox and above, not Fan Fox, um, Crimson Fox and above Andy Davo if he wins one, but not if he wins two. So. If I win another one, I'll be above Crimson Fox if he wins two. No, I won't. That's 77. I can't read my own writing. Fuck. <laughs> There's the great flaw in my, uh, in my strategy here. It's fucking it's tough, isn't it? Uh, claws, claws, not bad. Because like I really don't want to pile on with the only tackler, do I? And there's also going to be people like Blodge Warriors and stuff that you can hit. Definitely not Juggernaut. Uh, oh god. Yeah, I have one one star player point on him. Who was it on him? Would have bumped to 32. Like, he was so far away. If it had been Volpe's fag goal with it, then obviously making a pass with him. I guess I could have tried to make a pass with somebody else. Yeah, I guess I fucked up. The Warrior could have maybe made a pass or something. I should have gone for that one star player point. You're absolutely right. I shouldn't have gone for the foul. The BM foul, but never mind. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.